like mine. Hello, I am back. I'm gonna give me an intro like most people when they get on their videos. They say hello, you guys, or they say hi. Welcome back to my. I'm gonna get that girl. I just do with a. I'm back. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm trying to think of a catchy, a catchy slogan. You know. I'm back with all Aquarius monthly. God damn. Whew. Some of y'all are a little rough. I'm back with our Aquarius um, monthly reading. Damn. Some of y'all are a little rough, though. Got me over here crunching my goddamn deck up. Fuck that. Mm. A little tense. A little tense. Somebody let out some steam. Let me just say that. <laughs> Hell, I'm telling y'all, like, usually y'all don't see me shuffle the e-card before. I'm like, baby, we don't have the e-card. All right, we'll get one more. Some of y'all may need to relax your shoulders. All right. <laughs> Dead ass. Some of y'all might need to relax. Do you smoke weed? <laughs> you can eat a couple of edibles. I already ate some, and I think I got cotton now. <laughs> That's neither or nor there. All right, let's see what's going on for the month of August, or whatever the case may be. Um, oh, okay. Father of Sticks. Come on, got that action. Ready to do some things. Let's see. Mm, damn. Dr. Buzzard. Four baskets. God damn. Whew. Okay, come on, let's go. I couldn't get over it. I couldn't get over it. Stop. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I couldn't get over it. What the hell? Girl, let me put this there. We're going to add this on the bottom. I'm going to show y'all all the cards. I ain't like that. Over here, y'all got Seven of Cups, the Sun of Pentacles, and the Sun of Baskets. God damn. Whew. Some of y'all may be having like some pessimistic outlook with a sense of money or a lover or a person. Like some of y'all may be having some pessimism, like not being able to dream or to see. It's two keys here necessarily. It could be somebody got two different keys or whatever the case may be. One that may be financially uh, incompetent or one that you really necessarily love. I don't know whatever the case may be, but it kind of gives me those type of matters. But it does give me like you hear me say somebody has a pessimistic view when it comes to kids. Damn. All right. All right. Let's go. <laughs> or the idea of connecting with them. Okay? Or well, it could be your inner child. It could be with money matters or just your own happiness or inner child type thing. So, God. Sorry. I just want to just go and get out the way. So, that's why I pulled this dick out because I was like, I ain't got time for to be sitting up here saying, but what's going on with the Aquarius type reading? No. Okay. You got five of wands here. King of Wands here, you may say, which is Father Sticks. You got Ace of Sticks and the, and, the, and the Four of Pentacles. Some of y'all may be going through some type of financial hardships because of the Ace of Wands, like you hear me say, not being able to move forward or like being cut off. That's what it kind of does, though. Like somebody's being cut off, especially with the daughter baskets. Anywho, but, um, yeah, that's why I said with this father wants this ace of six is four of pentacles. It just gives me like, you hear me say somebody being cut off or somebody's not, uh, like somebody has put. God. Didn't want to know that. Okay. But, uh, going back to the reading though, 
it just gets me here like somebody may have been cut off or whatever the case may be or you dealing with a sense of honesty like a hard truth of the matter and it's kind of like forcing somebody to be able to do something about something because you got the doctor buzzer here doctor buzzer you hear me say speaks of karma karma in situations like dealing with the giving and receiving of how you deal with certain type matters you got uh the bishop c mason and you have the six of knives it's kind of like somebody stuck in trouble type waters it could be a commitment or the idea of learning type matters or especially it is with this here Ooh. Ooh. um yes Ooh. all right um Yes, this is just very straightforward. I'm sorry, y'all. But if I said the Dr. Buzzer, you hear me say, speaks of, you hear me say, like, the karmic type balance. Like, how do you deal with giving and receiving? Or what do you fear that it's right? Like, doing certain things that you know that feels fair to others. But the Bishop C. Macy, you hear me say, this speaks of, you hear me say, just the enlightening, the awakening. It could be studies or just those marital type issues, the day-to-day, -day, the routines. But the Six of Swords, you hear me say, being reversed, it's kind of like somebody stuck in troubled waters. Like somebody doesn't know how to let go of the past, like continuously. Like it's like mentally being in a, a mental block because you have the Seven of Pentacles. And that speaks of where you hear me say, uh... You just can't necessarily go outside like you always hear me say. You want to, you got a pecan tree, but you're trying to pick fruits. So it's kind of like knowing the actions of what that puts us into a position of certain things that become stuck over time. You got the four cups. Somebody's like stuck in a place of regret. Like they want to be able to let something go. But... You also got the nine of pentacles and the daughter of coins. That's why I said it looks like somebody's getting cut off. And somebody's like nine of pentacles and this that speaks of, like you hear me say, these two together with the daughter of coins, it's not reversed. It's kind of like the financial independence and being able to have your own financial wealth and those type of things, though. So I don't know if you tell it to somebody, though. Because it's weird with the son of coins that came out. Because the son of coins speaks of somebody, you hear me say, that regrets having money. In most cases. So with these here too. That's why I said. It, yeah. And the courting. Yeah, okay. And the courting here. Whatever the case may be. It's kind of like somebody regrets a relationship. Like somebody's taking away somebody's independence. That's what it kind of does though. Like that may be the matter that's coming up with a person. Like if you in a marriage. Both of y'all acting selfish as hell right now. Boom. Period. Hard stop. Pause. Both of y'all acting selfish as hell right now. I'm just being honest. Because with the Six of Swords and the Four of Cups, don't nobody want to let something go. If it's you, you hear me saying you're thinking of the past to where it's a relationship where you were possibly tethered to someone or the connection or the idea of or where you feel limited. We understand COVID is going on so you can still work and plan things that don't sit in the space of regret. If it's oppositions or things that has happened to you, you mourning it, but make sure you're honoring certain things that has happened to you. Don't just necessarily think about what doesn't work, what it doesn't work, even if you're trying to get to marriage, what the last relationship do, what this person didn't do. It's like actually putting in the ideal of work so that's why i said if you think about marriage or relationship both of y'all pity i just want to say that if you're in a marriage or still oh y'all got six of baskets Ooh. you got six of baskets yes that's why i said some of y'all got to make peace with your past and you don't need, you don't want to let certain things go some of y'all got to make peace with your past or certain things some of y'all may have reunited you hear me say with some old lovers that's necessarily what it is. And it's kind of like maybe parts of you that's possibly flaring up through this uh, COVID type thing. Or you kind of like attracted to someone or whatever the case may be. Certain behaviors that they have, you just didn't feel comfortable with or a person doesn't feel comfortable with. Because you got the five of cups. And that speaks of, you hear me say, getting over that sense of loss. So that's why I say if it's you connecting with love or in a new relationship with a person, you like bringing the baggage from the past into your new relationship. So that's dictating. So if you're in the processes of contemplating, well, I don't want to give up my independence. I'm this or how does this because courting goes like back in the day. If you Google how courting goes directly, it's like finding a suitor that comes in to help, to be supportive, that does like all those different types of things. Like it's a show. It's kind of like a showmanship how men used to be well you know i just got a job down at the pen and i've been working mama said like that type of energy or whatever especially if you reconnecting with a person 
And uh, they trying to tell you that they not the same. Or some of y'all heads reconnected with people, you hear me say, but the COVID is flaring up certain energies that they have. And um, like a lover or somebody looking at you like, mm -hmm. has he changed? Has he really changed? Like that type of energy. Especially if you're moving forward and it got something to matter to do with kids or whatever the case may be. Baby daddy, baby mama drama. And you're trying to come to some sort of medium with the uh, Libra energy being in the middle. So it's kind of like, has you really changed? Has this nigga really changed? Like that type of energy. <laughs> so that's what kind of gets me though. There's some love here. I say that. That's dope. You got eight of knives. You hear me say son of baskets. So that's why I said it's kind of like this is... This is Either you were young when you were dating somebody, a somebody to appreciate the value of love. Boom. You moving forward, being into a relationship, or whatever the case may be, or you dated young or got married young in those instances, though, it's like somebody brings out your adolescence. The adolescence in you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ten of knives. That's what it is. Mm. Ten of knives. Some coins. I'm sorry I paused because like somebody in a relationship or a marriage and in the past with the ten of nines and this dick, this person wasn't like really nice. Like they had like a tainted past. Like this is like very vicious. This is somebody you hear me say uh, that really don't care for others. Like they could be very cruel or I got to get you before you got to get me type energy. And you hear me say with the son of pentacles, they possibly wasn't uh necessarily like very focused or financially stable. That's what it kind of gets me, though. And I think that's limiting somebody back in a sense of love. Like, it's limiting them in love. Because you got the five of sticks and the um, Aunt Caroline. So, if it's kind of like if you were single and you were dating. And the person you used to date or whatever the case may be, they put you in a place where you feel like you had to compete. And it's a situation where you didn't win. So, you ended that. You end up moving on. This is how this person felt. So, they end up in it and they move it on. Only for you to recur in this person past in their future or with love or you trying to get some type of, you know, making peace with it or whatever case may be and being able to move forward. Uh, only to recognize that it flared like you bring like either you did something. Bitch. I'm trying to keep it in cute, but fuck this shit. I don't mean no harm. One of y'all, you hear me say, y'all reconnected with somebody. Or you got married to somebody, your childhood love. And one of y'all end up a person who you used to be. You end up doing something that you did in your past that made your partner mad. For some of y'all. Oh, let me see. For some of y'all. Let me plug my phone. Let me scoot this up. Only know the light when it's going home. That's the song that's in my head. Only miss your lover when it starts to snow. Only know your lover when you let her go. That's what it is. That's why I said somebody broke up with you or you broke up with somebody else or whatever the case may be. And they're trying to come back and they did something to hurt you. And what they did to hurt you, even if you're not reconnected with a person because you didn't make peace with your past, you ended a relationship because in a space of regret because of what somebody else did to you because you ain't hear that shit. Mm -mm. Come on, somebody. Can I get a neighbor? Neighbor. I'm sorry. <laughs> Gullah Jack, that's the hangman. And the daughter of sticks. Ooh, wee. That's why I said this here. This five of sticks or whatever the case may be. This speaks of, you hear me say, somebody being like a manipulative, like they're a carn artist and they're a liar. And they get themselves in situations or whatever the case may be to where um you may be itching for a way out. And Gullah Jakes also speaks to somebody where you hear me say, if you can't do the crime, you got to do the time. So this probably was somebody behaving, you hear me say, 
it just gets me though like it's something from the past that a lover or a person that did to you and in a relationship for you to be able to move forward and heal it cause issues and a new relationship and you regret it or somebody's in a relationship and now thinking about damn i wish my life was a little bit better because i had things when i was independent if it's a baby dad, a baby mama drama, or a financial asset, or whatever the case may be, it look like somebody took a financial hit because they was able to get more. So it's making them regret the relationship that they in. Mm. But if you got kids, it's like your kids competing against each other. <laughs> yes, yes. Ooh, or you a sibling in this type of matter. You got to compete with your Siblings, that's what it kind of gets me though. Hmm. You see it all the time in black families, don't you? Hmm. All right. Only know you love her when you let her go. And you let her go. Doom, doom. You got four and a half. Okay. Hmm. Some of y'all chilling though. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that though. I'm telling you. Never mind. I'm sorry. Some of y'all chilling though. Y'all ain't worried about a lot of shit. Y'all really not. Y'all like, fuck this shit. All right, let's see what comes out while I'm sitting here playing. Yeah. You got Ace of Pentacles in the Father of Baskets, though. Yep. For me, you hear me say, some of y'all, you hear me say, um, going back on the same narrative, you hear me say with the Aquarius type energy, somebody got themselves in a situation and it's kind of like somebody won't let their past go of who they used to be. So if you are in a relationship or going towards a sense of love that's putting you in a sense of regret, it's kind of like going through those financial hardships or things not coming the way you want them right now when it comes to love. It's kind of like maybe you asking for somebody to love you just the way you are. Like you want them to, it's kind of like you saying you want them to accept you, right? But at the same time, with them accepting you, you want them to love the fucked up parts about you that you still or possibly still could do. And somebody's asking for some sense of change. Or you asking somebody for some change. Mm. Come on, neighbor. Somebody say, neighbor! Hmm. Dr. Grant. Some of y'all gonna let this hurt go because when y'all get in a relationship, y'all gonna stop trying to put people through all these different types of tests to see can they fit your narrative. Because this mother knives, this is somebody that's very intuitive. <laughs> this is somebody that's very intuitive or whatever the case may be that can see through certain things or whatever the case may be. And it just takes like a sense of honesty because you did get the page of cups. That's what I said. It does take honesty though. That's why I said with that Dr. Grant, like you hear me say, being in the space of fear, like somebody is uh, contemplating coming up with certain things <laughs> and i'm telling you it looks like somebody just wants some honesty that's all they want is just some honesty though because you got two of swords the seven of seven of baskets the john freeman and the mother of pentacles though two of swords that means coming to a position of learning those harsh truths seven of cups is like being pessimistic about the sense of truth that is limiting you in the foundation of being able to commit to a partner i don't know if you're dating somebody that's necessarily financially stable and a tax bracket that you necessarily like or they may it's like some financial differences over whatever it is it's kind of like it's some financial differences or something that's going on. Jesus Christ. Well, we're going to see what this means. I knew one of y'all was going to give me a difficult ass spread. We're going to see what's going on. We're going to see what's going on. We're going to see what's going on. Big mama. I'm telling you, though, it just gets me, though, like somebody in the midst of a family drama, your kids are competing against each other. And it's kind of like as a parent or whatever the case may be, um, if you reconnecting with a child or as a child, you're reconnecting with a parent. It's like a parent trying to pull all their siblings together, whatever the case may be, 
pull all the kids together and it's like this argumentative or this who do what and what do what you know like that family drama blow up type shit or whatever the case may be and then for some of y'all y'all get in a relationship and y'all rekindle with somebody a old love or a childhood love or somebody that brings out the adolescent type behavior in you or whatever the case may be or you bring this out in a person and not knowing it necessarily how they love or somebody that requires you or it could be you accumulating things over time because of childhood those type of things are the happiness of what you wanted when you was a little boy or a little girl and um Somebody just don't know how to bear the weight of it. It really does. Somebody just don't know how to bear the weight of it. Oh, shit. Ace of Cups, though. Tell me y'all panic. Let me say that. Ooh. <laughs> Mother baskets. Some of y'all petty, though. And the reason why I say that, though, some of y'all petty, though, is because um, some of y'all be feeling like you dating down when it comes to individuals and you necessarily not dating down. Some men, some women that go through, like, egregious type paths or try to change and try to progress or whatever the case may be, they only recognize and they feel like they're not good enough for a certain type of lifestyle or reality that puts them to where they feel like they have to compete with people, especially if you're in a relationship. And you see men that chase this. You see women who chase this in the idea of relationship that it form insecurities with partners that when y'all get tired of living up to the reality of what y'all thought y'all was supposed to be, that's how that relationship always end up breaking. But it looks like, you hear me say again, somebody taking something from the past and somebody needs to be make peace with their past because it's affecting their new relationship. because you got ace of baskets reverse so it's kind of like somebody loves somebody more than somebody else or could you hear me say being like oh shit i don't even want to say it. am i supposed to say it? am i supposed to say it Mm -hmm. oh, I see. I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. Okay, I see. Anywho. It's tricky, you hear me say, when you dating baby daddies, baby mamas, or whatever the case might be. People with kids. Sometimes you feel like necessarily you got to compete with somebody. If you have been through tumultuous type times with your baby dad, and now y'all on a good foot, and this nigga get in a relationship, and he change up, and you know at the time that he wasn't the most reliable, you, the insecurities are flaring up, because I think it's, I think somebody think it's affecting their relationship. So, if you are seeing this that you went through with, um a partner or a person that's the issues that's coming up towards a head it really is that's what i wanted to say i'm sorry it really is all right let's see what else comes out though because if i'm telling you one of y'all dating somebody with some kids or you dating somebody with the kids and you and the baby mom or the baby dad because y'all been having this coming up for a long time or whatever the case may be and um yeah because it's kind of like if y'all two trying to be on the same page y'all just got on a good page and now they got in a relationship and it seems like they switching up or they changing up on you or whatever the case may be or them co-parenting or the style like say for you the person that don't have kids by this person they co-parent and i think that's a trigger for you I think that what it is. I think that's a trigger for somebody because of the way that they may co-parent. That's what it's kind of giving me, though. And that's what somebody feels like they have to compete. Damn, ain't shit coming else out. But, yeah, that's why I said somebody feels like they have to compete or whatever the case may be. Or um, if you're in a relationship and you know how, like, you see the ideal women that's on social media that date these ideal rappers or niggas with money. And they date somebody else that doesn't ball in they necessarily of a tax bracket. That creates a problem. Because they get accustomed to a sort of lifestyle. Mm. And that can cause challenges in the relationship. It really can. Y'all better start telling y'all baby daddies put y'all on. Okay. Uh, uh. 
My bad. You got daughter and eyes. Ooh, I don't like that, though. Because that's a very, ex like, she can be acidic. Negative. You got ten of cups. I go to family type matters. You got ancestors. You got Scorpio, Cancer, Leo, and the bones. Jesus Christ. I'm doing Aquarius reading, right? Girl. Anywho, going back to this though, but with ancestors, you hear me say going back to this in the Ten of Cups and the uh, Cancerian type energy. It could be you hear me say the a connection that you're trying to make with somebody. Or whatever the case may be. That's why I said it does give me like you hear me say somebody that does have kids or whatever. And it's like your kids in competition or as a mother, you want to see them settle down. It looks like somebody they down. I told y'all the baby mama dynamic. Baby mama, uh, baby daddy uh, dynamic. You have a Scorpio and you have the cancer type card or whatever the case may be. Both being reversed or whatever. So it's kind of like what are you not seeing or whatever the case may be. Like, are you necessarily in tune, you hear me say, to deal with such of changes. To be able to change your perspective. Because it's kind of like the eye is missing for a reason to be able to see within deep. You got the railroad here that speaks of the Cancerian type energy of, you hear me say, how he be, how he was a fox. And a lot of people necessarily don't like that fox-like mentality because foxes necessarily survive in that pack. You know what I'm talking about? Like, they need others. Like, they need others before they be able to survive alone. So, that could be you. You hear me say not necessarily knowing that. And then you got the strength here with the Leo card being in reverse. So, that's pride, ego, not knowing how to be able to maintain, uh, getting what it is that you need. Like, somebody had, like, a hard life. Like, that's what it kind of gives me, though. Somebody had, like, a hard life where they had to just scrap to get what they need to survive. And dealing with this, you hear me say, dealing with this judgment, this awakening, this sense of truth, it's a harsh reality for somebody to deal with. It kind of gets me low-key judgy. Like, somebody may be, like, you may be judging your partner, or somebody may be judging you, or you may be judging someone else. That's what it kind of gives me, though. Mm. Let me give me another dick, though. Let's see what else comes out, though. Mm -hmm. I said that, though. Yep, that's just a sweet and to the point. Mm. Um, you got three of knives and you got the five of knives here as well <sighs> the reason why I say the truth comes in and it's hard for somebody to be able to deal with because the three of swords speaks of heartbreak betrayal people who say certain things malicious intent bit uh, bitterness like the, uh, holding things within like you hear me say but it's upright so it's overcoming those things and you got the five of swords as well. Like you hear me say communicating like those battles that could be lethal communication as well. But it's upright, though. So that means persevering and being able to overcome those type of things, though. It really does give me that, though. I'm sorry. I knew one of y'all was going to give me a love reading or whatever the case may be. Let's see what else going on. Let me see what else. That was straight to the point. God damn. I thought it was going to be something new. God damn. I really did. The fuck? It really was. That was straight to the point. Damn. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. All right. Bottom of the day, we got the word. We're going to see. I'm going to give about like 10 cards that come out. Or oh, whatever the case may be. We're going to see what else I need to know. I said that though. One of y'all was going through an awakening. I understand in a higher consciousness. Then you got Queen of Swords. You got the Four of Swords reverse and the Three of Swords. Like somebody's dealing with some heartbreaking truth. But it's kind of like the truth of the matter is something that you already knew intuitively. And that's what makes it uh, able. To, it, that's what makes it uh, 
easier for somebody to overcome these sets of obstacles. I told you, though, it does give me that, though. That's why I said it's been the same thing. So some of y'all been doing the work, so it ain't necessarily it's like hard truths. So I really thought y'all reading was going to be difficult as hell because you and a Taurus always give me the hardest time. We do because y'all don't ever want to be honest. You got Ten of Pentacles. You hear me say those foundations that you have with people in the Five of Wands. I think for you, you just want those soul connections, uh, the support, being able to have that sense of wealth and that generation and that long lasting in the Five of Wands of not being able to be in environments with people where you necessarily don't compete with them. Even if a lover, if y'all going through challenging times where it don't inflame a sense of argumentative type behaviors, so where it's just getting each other basically on the same page. That's why I said, I think some of y'all already went through the worst. And y'all just in rec recovery. Because they go Knight of Wands and the hair fund, though. That's why I said somebody is, um, um, somebody has lower vibrational tendencies. Somebody could be a little bit possessive in relationships or whatever the case may be. And it's kind of like going to and learning. Queen of Wands. That's why I said somebody possessive is hell. Queen of Wands reverse. They possessive. They a little bit insecure. I say that, though. Dealing with own insecurities over like I said, some of y'all been doing the work already. So that's why I said that's why this message may seem repetitive and ain't no cars really coming out and it's just real smooth. Like I said, some of y'all know the truth and y'all just lay back and y'all like shit, we already dealt with the hard part, even if you dealt with the infidelities bouncing back or somebody cheating or whatever didn't go right. It's just like, shit, y'all already there with the hard part. And I'm saying this is like really smooth. It really ain't that though. But for some, you hear me say somebody trying to make peace with their past or old lover that's limiting them. Or relationship, though. Because you got two of cups. Like I said, some of y'all came to an abrupt ending, though. Some of y'all did end with, end with some people. And it, it, it pushed you into a position of saying, okay, I know what I want for as a lover. I know what I want. Like, I know how I ended up in this relationship. Or I know where I'm going wrong. I know where it's this. Really do. But I'm telling you, it gives me like some family drama. Y'all trying to connect. Somebody bringing all their kids together. This is trying to put everybody in a pack. And somebody's trying to be the leader. Or trying to push everybody in the direction that they need to go. But the four, so what, four wands is here. And it's kind of like everybody doesn't want to be on the same page. Because everybody's still in the past. Four cups. And it's a hard time. Everybody's sitting in their own pity. Soaking. Well, what about this? And what about this? And what about that? You kind of like, uh-uh. Nope. So uh, you got Ace of Pentacles, you got Knight of, you got uh, King of Pentacles reverse, you got King of Swords upright, you got Seven of Cups reverse, and the Knight of Cups. That's why I said this here. I think somebody has been recognizing that it's been a hard time with this Ace of Pentacles and this King of Pentacles and this King of Swords. Like uh, it's not happening. It's just not happening. You know, I ain't saying like that. It's just not happening. But for some of y'all, this got something to do with family and drama. And some of y'all kind of like it's not happening. Seven of Cups and the Knight of Cups. This is kind of like hell no. Like, that's like that, I'm going to get you back type sucker. So, yeah, we're going to pull y'all a couple of advice cards or whatever the case may be. But some of y'all that went back through, for family matters, some of y'all went through hard, trying times. And it's like a parent trying to get all her kids, her his or her kids on the same page. And it's kind of like they don't want to get on the same page because they're too busy arguing about what who didn't do, what do-do, what do, whoever do this. This is do-do-do. And it's putting them in a position of being argumentative. For some of you, you are dating and your old life affects your new life. And you're starting to recognize that it ain't the person who you was with or the emotional. Or you're starting to recognize that the expectations, the seven of cups that you had of the reality of what you thought it was going to be, limit you in love. For some of y'all, y'all are dating people who got kids and it's a red, like it's not red flags or it's just situations of maybe how they connect, maybe how they do with a partner. And um, you don't like it because you possibly didn't have it with your suitor. And then too, you hear me say it's an independent thing. So somebody trying to be overly independent or whatever the case may be. Okay, and then some of y'all, you hear me say, y'all had a tainted past to the point to where that affected the way a person looked at you and you possibly may have done what you did in the past only for a person to say, I knew you never changed. That's what it kind of gave me, though. So it looks like somebody made a boo-boo or a boo-boo and somebody's judging them based off their past. It really do, though. 
So y'all got a lot of dynamics though. But it don't feel heavy though. It don't. Because last month in July, when I did the Earth Sign Reading for Love, it was like, oh my God, I wanted to cry. I'm not a cry. So don't feel bad. I think some of y'all have been going through this emotionally and had not been communicating for for a long time. And now y'all at the point where y'all possibly just want to get over it. But it's like divine, like, nope, learn from it. And you kind of like, oh, I don't want to learn from it. So that's what some of y'all going through now. All right. Because we're going to wrap this up. Because I got some wheel. I got to go. Ooh. Have faith in your dreams. That's why I said if you're trying to pursue somebody, connect with them. Y'all different. Have faith in it. A new star. I would say a new star is coming. That's a new moon. You got two new moons out. All right, okay. Show me what you're working with. Full moon and Leo. Don't let your pride get in the way. That's why I said some of y'all got a whole shitload of pride in these connections. Balance is spiritual. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Sometimes by you being an earth sign, sometimes you can be too focused on whatever message or your relationship with God or how those things go that it end up limiting you. You and your loved one is safe. The energy is gaining momentum. But we ain't going to put all of them down. We just going to do five like I know I'm do for everybody else. But, uh, yeah, that's what some of y'all do. Some of y'all got to learn how to practice your faith. Walk the talk. Do the work and be able to progress. So if you gave us a guide and it's done, that don't mean be dumb. That just mean the stressing part is just over. Or whatever rituals or practices that you use. Okay. So I just have to incorporate that. And you let it go. Do 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 do. Bottom of the deck, y'all got temperance. Oof. What's these y'all that came out? Four of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, that's why I said some of y'all are being forced to let go of old ways, connections, lack of boundaries, lack of trust. Because if you ain't got trust, you ain't got shit. Really don't. But like I said, some of y'all y'all reconnecting. You know, COVID made a couple couples break up. Some of y'all may be jail talking a couple females. You know I love you, baby. Get back. Get back. <laughs> I'm just playing. Dead ass. I'm just I'm not playing. All right. All jokes aside, I'm not fucking with you. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, shit. I'm trying to grab all of them that flipped. Damn. Bottom of the deck, you got four of pentacles. Some of y'all been holding on to some grudges. Some grudges. I said I wasn't going to put two down. You got emperors in the six of wands. Some of y'all can not succeed. Some of y'all can be emotionally fulfilled and be able to overcome these situations. It's just putting you in a position to where you're able to rise above whatever situations that is going on. It's just being able to withstand that sense of pressure. Overall, you got to have faith in your dreams. You got the star and the ace of wands. It's like the creativity or whatever it is, like the message or the things that you're trying to do comes from th comes from within you. This is Aquarian type energy or whatever the case may be. Honoring the quirkiness, the things that's needed to be able to persevere and be able to move forward. That's why I said that's there. Then you got uh, meditate and contemplate. Meditate, I mean contemplate. Yes. <sighs> some of y'all into a sort of spirituality. That's why I said that. Some of y'all be taking them different types of drugs or whatever the case may be to induce some sense of uh, memory trance to be able to heal. But in order to meditate on certain things, you have to focus. So if it's something of the past that you need to learn, it's going to keep we flaring up. It is. So that's why I said that does not mean you go back towards the way you used to be, but it's communicating so somebody can learn and you also can learn too. Especially if you got a tainted past or some sense of history or trauma connected to it or other people that was hurt in the process. 
a new start is coming. You got five of cups and a temperance though. It's coming, but you got to be patient and learn how to wait. Like you got to appreciate what you lost before you able to be able to get what it is that you need because you will keep fucking it up and keep fucking it up and keep fucking it up. So you got to learn how to be patient with you and as well with others. Don't let your pride get in the way. Just because you know you can don't mean you should. Because you got King of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. When you know who you are, you're sure and you're rooted. You don't let the outside naysayers push you and push you and push you to the point where you just react. All right? Because the tempers is reversed. You got you and your loved ones are safe. So I said to just give me a family type thing. You got Nine of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Like you can't sit up here and want and manifest or dream or, you know what I'm saying? And I want this to happen. Well, what you going to do about it or whatever the case may be? Like, how you going to manifest from a negative type space? No. <laughs> okay. Like, all right. Just because everybody happy or they straight, just because everybody's straight or you praying saying, well, I hope, you know, peace is upon them or whatever the case may be. You got to make sure that you very detailed when it comes to like family or happiness of the overall of everybody that necessarily you won't, um, necessarily you won't, uh, recognize that you forget about you to where you say, well, I want to connect. I want to do this. Okay. So that's why I say you can't be in the space of being unhappy yourself and then, wishing and helping others because we rolling out of council season rolling into august or whatever the case may be which is everybody oh i want us no what do you want okay especially aquariuses y'all are humanitarians y'all care about other people before you care about your damn self and then you start pushing people away and that's y'all start doing dude, stupid ass shit and going into isolation all right the energy is gaining momentum damn ten of swords and the queen of wands what they say, pressure makes diamonds. It really do. Pressure makes diamonds. So, at the end of the day, you got to learn how to recognize if you're tired or trying to gain a sense of control over something. You do. You can do it. Not push people to the brinks because the emperor, you hear me say, he is patient. He is calculated. He is wise. So, he utilizes his power for the time that he can. So, remember, pressure makes diamonds. When you're going through certain things that make you feel very uncomfortable. My leg itching, y'all. This damn hurt touched my legs. And then yesterday I tried to light some up on the stove. And I think I almost burnt all my weed up. So, anywho. Don't let your past hold you back. Boom. I don't give a fuck about anything else I pulled out. You got the sun and you got the five of cups. Boom. So, in the past, you remember, so you may have not necessarily been happy. If you are an idea of a pregnancy or coming into a, like, becoming pregnant or you dealing with those different types of things and you had a horrible relationship, that doesn't mean that the new one going to be like this. If you in the Six of Swords energy where you meditating and you praying and you coming out of it and you learning from it, that means you could be able to bounce back. This is you honoring your inner child. This is you being able to overcome those uh, situations that weren't just so happy. Okay? So this is just accepting you, others, and everything around you you but you got to start with you first or whatever the case may be because remember don't let your pride get in the way because king of pentacles know who he is all right so we need to be this way because he got boundaries he coming off his throne he or she ain't coming out they throne so you can't get mad when other people have boundaries and they say I act and you like no 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 let me get over there let me get over there or it could be a person or whatever the case may be and you like no no that's just how the game go all right so on this note, y'all, I gotta go. I told y'all I think I got cotton now because I ate all them damn edibles. Or whatever the case may be, that's why I paused halfway through. I'm like, damn, bitch, you is high. <laughs> I'm gone. I'm 